If you like this video, subscribe to my channel, but let's get right to it. Uh, episode two, The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I really enjoyed this episode. I love the character building. I actually didn't know how they were going to, because in the previews and everything, uh, with the new Captain America, how they were going to, um, you know, bring that character into the fold. It seemed like they were just doing a celebration for him. And, uh, you know, I like how they made him a sympathetic character right out of the bat. You know, it's like right out of the gate. You know, it's like he, you know, is reluctant. He wants to be Captain America, um, you know, but he knows it's big shoes to fill. He's on this press junket. I really enjoyed all that aspect of the episode. Um, get a little backstory. You know, I guess he played hockey or or football or something in that stadium that he was in. It was his high school stuff. And uh, he remembered his locker room right off the bat. And um, I really, I really just liked, you know, I, I want to like his character. Um, uh, you know, again, when Falcon and uh, Bucky are on the tractor trailers and they're fighting Th this whole thing with super soldiers. It's like, you know, I almost feel like they're doing, uh, you know, the extremists or extremists, you know, storyline in the comic books that really got kind of, you know, with Iron Man three, it got kind of, I don't know, I wouldn't say fumbled, but you know, um, it just seems like this is what they're going for with this is this idea that there's these super soldiers out there. Um, everybody's trying to get, come up with their own cocktail as far as the um, uh, the serum that you kind of take. Uh, it was interesting to see the one guy sacrificed himself. So they're not invincible, um, you know, uh, and they don't explode like the extremist people um, from from the that reaction that they had uh, in Iron Man 3. So, you know, it's one of those deals where you just kind of, we got to see where this is going to go. But in the end, I hope that... Um, because one of my biggest issues uh, with the Falcon in general, the character, is that he really isn't a superhero. He's got, I mean, other than flying with, you know, the wings and the contraption, he's just basically a uh, an Iron Man without the suit, just wings. It's like he 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 could be killed very easily. Uh, although, you know, his skill level is really good as far as like getting out of jams and all that other kind of stuff and his fighting skills and all that. But he's he's still like mortal like Tony Stark, where uh, even Captain America, you know, the Chris Evans, his character, you know, he, when you see Bucky like in the scenes uh, running and just blowing past people, just like they did, you know, uh, Captain America did in Wakanda you know, in, uh, infinity war, um, you know, you, you see the strengths of the super soldier and what they can do. And, you know, I think that's one of the big obstacles with, uh, with Sam is he's trying to f figure out, like, he knows he's not a super soldier. And, um, you know, so he, th his idea was past the shield. I love, um, Bucky, you know, Sebastian Stan, the, the camaraderie between those two, uh, uh, is fantastic. Uh, the back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And, um, you know, it was interesting, uh, how they kind of played a little bit with some of the social themes that are going on now with the police officers pulling over Bucky and, um, and Sam or stopping them in the street. And then, you know, Oh, I didn't recognize you because you were, you know, you, you, you didn't have your costume on, you know, okay. Cause we get it. We get where they're going with that, but I felt like they didn't hit hammer you over the head with it, but they let you know that there are issues, you know, um, uh, as far as messaging goes, but I will say uh, I was pleasantly surprised. My friend who's a fellow actor, Scott Parks, he played one of the police officers in that scene. Uh, we'll put the picture up, uh, a screen grab, uh, right now, Scott Parks and I, uh, have a history going back. We did, uh, back in 2006, he did stunt work on a, a project that I had produced, uh, a really, really fun project, like a web series. And then, uh, uh, we did a short film, uh, not too long ago, quite, well, it might've been a few years ago. Um, and then we were in this movie called, uh, Port City that had, that starred Jody Sweeten and John Wesley Shipp, who, uh, um, plays the Flash and the original Flash and then 
you know, the older Flash, and he was on Dawson's Creek and stuff like that. So um, Scott and I go way back. So it was great to see him in this episode. And, uh, you know, everybody signs NDAs. So, you know, I didn't know he was in uh, uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. You know, it's one of those deals where, you know, once an episode comes out, they just, they blast it out. It's kind of like uh, W. Earl Brown um, uh, didn't blast out that he played the weak way in The Mandalorian until I saw it on Facebook. And I was like, dude, what, what? You were in this? You had to, you didn't, I mean, you know, everybody signs, you know, I, I worked on a, a season of a show with him and, and never said anything. So it's like one of those deals where they don't, they, you really, when you sign an NDA, if you're not one of the big, big stars of the show, but you're a supporting character, you do not leak anything because it will come back and bite you. You'll never get hired again. Uh, so I, I always like when I see my friends uh, in uh, television episodes, um, uh, day player parts, things like that. Uh, so I was very happy for Scott. Uh, I'm going to have to see if I can't get him on the show uh, to talk about that. I'll reach out to him. Um, but yeah, uh, I just, I enjoyed the whole episode. I, you know, it, it's like there were some areas where the CGI looked a little, eh. uh, there was this one really wide shot of Bucky running towards, uh, uh, this building in the woods right after he had said, I didn't need a parachute and he jumps out and he just used his arm to kind of grab branches and break his fall. He, the CGI looked a little, I mean, it just looked odd. And, uh, so that's the only thing, uh, as far as the show goes that I saw that was like, uh, yeah, I still like all of the character building. I love the storyline. I love where they're going with it. Um, I can't wait to find out what's the deal with these super soldiers. Where are they getting the serum from? Now they got to go ask, you know, that knucklehead uh, who's in prison. I don't uh, uh, what what the deal is, um, and uh, because from the you know the Winter Soldier movie, he was the dude. He was the guy. You know, obviously, you know that didn't go down, uh, but. I just, I'm, I'm stoked about this show. I love everything about this show. Um, and, uh, I, you know, I'm, I bet I'll have a couple other friends pop up, uh, on the show as, as the season goes on. I just have a funny feeling. Um, but I'm looking forward to it. What did you guys think? Uh, do you like where the story is going? Do you like the character building? Um, did you like that there was another super soldier, an elderly super soldier that's still around. That's like when he threw that thing in the wall. I mean, like there's some serious storytelling that they're going to be doing here on the show. And, um, I'm kind of stoked about it. So let's talk about it in the comments section. We'll see you on the next one.